The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, and we were talking about the Dow Jones taking out the high, which in, in fact has done that. Um, we have did that before. Now, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put the little cycle thing in here so that we can look at the moon phases to see if there was anything going on around that time. And as you can see here, when we had the uh, full moon, this was right in the middle of nowhere. I mean, there's right between the right before the full moon, there was nothing there. Didn't work at all. Now this new moon hit it spot on, and look at this. We've got a coming in on the third and fourth of September. We've got one of these, so maybe it'll be up to this level. I don't know. But the Dow Jones index itself has made that number. I just checked it a little while ago with being up 500 points. Okay, now let's move on to a couple of things that we need to talk about. We've already talked about the NASDAQ. I'm going to bring it to your attention again. There's where we were on the hourly. If you remember and looked at it on the four-hour, yesterday's low was exactly to the tick, 382 of that low right there. And the number we were looking for was 19,212, and it got to 19,150. It went 60 points below it, and then it's had a pretty good rally. You can see the rally has extended, and we'll just measure it. The, you know, it's the Dow Jones that's leading the market now, folks. Uh, and there it went right exactly to the 61% retracement, if that means anything. But, you know, it's a little early in the day. And not only that, but it's like I mentioned, it's a uh, coming into a Friday tomorrow uh, in an up week uh, with a holiday. Oh, it's going to be really difficult. Boys, boys and girls, if the market's down tomorrow, that's not a good sign. Because being up in an up week, end of the month, uh, oh, that that would very be very, very negative, in my opinion, of course. All right, let's take a look at something that's really good, and let's just watch some of the trades that we have on for our little cowboys and cowgirls here in uh, TFNN. There's our wheat trade. It's just blazing away. Where did we go to last night? Exactly to the 382 of the low right here at 535, and we're now moving higher. Uh, I mentioned in the video last night, those of you that want to be really aggressive, you could buy another one and uh, moving to the upside. And one of our listeners uh, out of the three that listened to me uh, called up and said, isn't this exactly what happened with the soybean oil that you like so much a couple months ago? And well, a couple months ago, it was, yeah, well, it was the middle of July, I guess. But there was our there was our uh, order here, if you remember here in the uh, soybean oil. Uh, look what's happened now, folks. We've had tremendous moves. There was a 382 here. You'll just see that. That was the day we had our live trading system uh, day, or that was the uh, 23rd. And I said, well, maybe we should wait and buy this. And of course, a way that it went. And there was another 382 on this move right here, folks. If you just measured it, there's your, there's your, well, I've already done it. I'm going to do it again. There's your low, there's your high comes in uh, almost exactly at the 382 within about 10 cents. And as you can see now, it's uh, going uh, much to the upside. So that's the other one. We had another nice one today. I'm going to bring that. We've been short the dollar yen for quite some time. I'm going to bring this up because I posted that in a video here early this morning. There's the original sale that we had right here. And we covered the position right here. As you can see, and then today I said, watch for this one right here because we've got a beautiful ABCD pattern forming. We're just going to draw that in for you little cowboys and cowgirls. By the way, anybody that has heard from Peter Elides, would you please let me know that he's okay because I've called his home number. It's not answering. I called his private number. It's not answering, and that concerns the bejigis out of me. So let's uh, let's uh, keep in mind that some of the old timers here got to be watched very very closely. The other one that's working nicely for us here is the short in the British pound. There's where we were the other day. We had the beautiful ABCD up here. We now dropped uh, well over 150 handles to the downside. We're still moving lower. Got to stop at break even on that. And so if it works fine, if it doesn't, the worst that can happen is a break even trade. So those are the couple that we're paying attention to. Now, I've had a question to ask about the uh, gold market. I want to get this up here 
and show you because we were uh, last night on the video I pointed out that we have a lot of resistance up here in this level of uh, uh, 15, excuse me, 2559. We're going to do this on the hourly so that you can see it. Hold on one second. And there was the first level last, uh, here it is, last night. We came all the way down here, and now we're still hitting higher, folks. We think we're going to take this out. If you remember, you know, we're looking at 2585 on this and with the stock market going crazy, why won't gold go crazy? Should be no problem at all. And if you measure this, there's your ABCD leg. It's going to take you right up to the old promised land somewhere up in here, taking out those old highs without too much trouble. And if you look at it really closely from our good friend Jason over in uh, Singapore, there's the number you want to watch for, which is 2585, 2586, 2585. There's where I think gold is going. Certainly looks that way. It looks bullish. Look at the pullback this morning, folks. Stopped exactly, well, right near the 618 retracement and then off to the races again. Looking at this closely, this was the one that was the real key right here, folks. If you go down to just a smaller time frame, you're going to see a dear friend. And there it is right there. There's the market taking off. You get that big run right here, and look what happens, folks. We'll just follow through just to see how this stuff works. We miss the 382 here by a half a dollar. It hits it. It goes up and makes a new high, and Johnny's over there saying if it makes a new high, you have to recalculate the 382. So if you go, oh, this one, <laughs> this is a no-brainer. Oh, my goodness. Good for you, Johnny. Look at this one here, folks. There's your X, A, B, C, D move here. You know, looking at that, you know, you look at these and say, yeah, some of them work. Let me let me explain something to you. Market that goes up sometimes will go down and it does the same thing going down that it goes up. So when this happens like this later on in our lifetime, maybe in 2096 or 2099, when the market finally makes a top, you'll remember to watch these things because when they happen and when they do, those are the ones you want to pay very, very close attention to. Okay, the next one we've been asked to talk about here is the Russell. Here's the Russell right here. Now, this is going to be an interesting one because this is a four-hour chart. What we're going to do is look at it on the daily to start out with. Okay, now, there was the 78% level the other day. That was on the 26th. We came down here right at that level right here uh, yesterday. So we're going to go to a four-hour chart just to see if we can see anything that would have told us that this was going to be a major bottom here yesterday. Now, I don't, uh, Norman is asking me, is there a problem with TFNN TV? I have no idea. I'm, I'm doing a show. Hopefully not. <laughs> anyway, the only thing we have here is this big move right here on the 15th. That, when you see explosive like this, folks, that's a cycle bottoming. Okay. We, we already, we believe that. And, pretty much proves itself if you go from your low uh, just a minute here here we go here up to this level right here yeah it this makes a well we'll be right back stay with us Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, 
It has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, and we're going to go through the Russell here. Uh, there was our low uh, that we made here on the 15th. That's a major cycle. When it explodes like that, you, you, just like this one, that's a major one, okay? So uh, basically, we, we made a 382 off of that cycle right here, and then we had this one you know, really close to it. You can see that probably came in um, yesterday. Uh, yeah, yesterday probably exactly at uh, – 78 percent level let's see where we are yeah there there was the well excuse me 618 and 382 and now we've rallied up into this level right here looking at this on the hourly basis remember this is lagging the market it's right at the 618 retracement here right now look this morning early it hit the 382 and backed off 20 handles and then boom away it went and that completes that smaller abd abcd pattern you have to go down to a a uh, smaller time frame to see it, but there's your A, B, C, D that we're looking at right here. There's your A, B leg. There's your C, D leg. And we just went up there and knocked on the door right here where it's trading here at uh, 2226 uh, uh, right now. And that happens to be a micro mini a three drive to a top pattern. You can see there's drive one. There's drive two. There's drive three. We haven't backed off very much. As a matter of fact, let's just check and see. We should have made a 382 retracement just a minute ago. Uh, we didn't even, so bullish, it didn't even, well, it came pretty close. Came within one point of the exact 382 of that level here. But there's your ABCD on this uh, 226. If I were doing a radio show today with live trading today, they'd have to put horses on my back to keep them from not making that trade there at 226, uh, putting a stop at, they're risking about 10 points at uh, 236. But anyway, I'm just an ABCD type person, folks. Uh, uh, sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. Like I said, I'm often wrong, but never in doubt. Let's take a quick look here at the soybeans, folks. This is a soybean market started to uh, raise its head a little bit. Uh, yesterday, excuse me, it was in the middle of the night last night. We made nearly a perfect 382 retracement here. Uh, you'll see there was your low right back here. There was your 3618 coming in right here. And then the market has continued to go higher. Now, we had a little move right here. Oh, Johnny, put that placard down, would you please? These 382s, folks. You know, if I've given anything for any of you guys, play attention to this. This is the this is probably the best thing you could ever have. Oh, move it here right here. Well, it says 0.43, but that's pretty close to 382. Look at the ABCD here right here. We that 
Yeah, it's only five hundred bucks. I mean, you know, what? But five hundred bucks is still a lot of money. There's your three eight two right here. There's your A B C D, and look where you are right now. And then you got a probably got another one in here. These beans and stuff and meal and the other things, the wheat are starting to show up a little bit. So maybe it means something. You know, maybe it doesn't. That that's basically. You know, all I'm looking at right here. Now, let me get the cascade back because I want to take a look at the Dow Jones because the reason is it did make a new high up there and I wanted to see how many people were buying it. And here's where we are. Get it up here. Okay, there was the high here at uh, 1,672. The high here on the big splashing breakout was 41,682, $50 higher. And it's now down about $400 from that level. This is micro, but, you know, micro, mini, whatever it is, there was your high. Now we backed off just a little bit, which isn't really very much at all. And, of course, this is just a three-minute chart. Let's just see if this three-minute chart had anything that had any interest. There's your A, B, C, D leg right here. And it looks like it may – oh, this measured to uh, 41,706. So that missed that by about 20 points. And you can see here, it didn't quite make the 382 here. It only made 0.34. So we're just in the net. This is the thing that's important is this new high on the day on a f coming into a, I wish this were the Friday. I, I, I enjoy doing the show every day of the week, but I wish today was Friday just so that I didn't have to worry. And I, believe me, I don't worry about anything <laughs> is that uh, we've got this uh, big, big thing coming up here on September the 3rd. We got that new moon and we got a, we got an anniversary date that no one remembers. There was nobody around when this was happening. And in fact, the oldest guy down on the exchange, Art Cashin, has Alzheimer's pretty bad now, and he's uh, he's not doing very well. So far, knock on wood, I've been blessed. That's not been my problem. Other things are my problem, but not that one. I, I don't really have any problems, actually, folks. Okay, let's move on here to the um, – Japanese yen again. I wanted to bring that to your attention because this has potential, folks, to being a real game changer. Because look at this look at this uh, day, daily on the yen. Okay, Th this is you can see. I want to move this over just to show you how far up we are. You see where we are right now, folks? Look at this. You're going back here. This thing could have potential like you can't believe. Now we had a major bottom right in here on August the fifth. Okay. Well, let's just move that over just a little bit. This is nothing to do. Uh, it's going back several years here. Wow, this is really pretty good. Let's move here. There's your low right here. This went, quote, right up to the 61% retracement, I believe, almost spot on, right there, almost perfect. Then we had the 382 up. We had another 382 up. This one measures two, folks. I know the people in Japan are not going to like to hear this, but this one, I have to refresh this to get the data out just one second there's the data okay now this measures to this level right here there's your a b leg right here there's your cd leg right here this tells us that we're trading at 144 we're going down to 130 there's your 1.618 expansion folks there's your 382 remember copper let's go look at our old good good friend dr copper see what it's saying about the stock market here i haven't looked at it in a couple days believe it or not and that is a huge unusual event for me. Here's copper right here. We'll put up the old daily chart and see where we are. We should have been rocking and roll. Oh boy, we're not rocking and we're not rolling, folks. We've got a caller in, I believe. Hold on one second here. We got Mike from Niagara Falls. Mike, Mike, how are you, buddy? Hi, thanks for taking my call, Larry. I was just wondering, are you following the nineteen eighty seven analog? Uh, yes, I am. I am. It's it's changed a little bit because we've made a newer high than yesterday, but I certainly am following that analog very uh -huh. much. There's not, been okay. not many people so are doing that. So do you remember that, what I... happened on uh, the uh, Labor Day weekend, 1987? Labor Day weekend, 1987? Yeah. No, I don't. All, all I know, it was moving down from the 25th. That's all I know. It went down into the solar eclipse on the 26th, rallied up into October the 2nd. And then it had the big crash. So whether yeah, that's what happening happened, or not, uh, after post things. Labor Day, it had a nasty sell-off. First, mm -hmm. the first week basically it was a short week. It's a condensed uh, week. That yeah, well, always is on Labor Day. Yes. Um, that's uh, there was a, I, there was the e, e, I think it was a war, the war battle between Iran and Iraq uh, mm -hmm. broke out, or there was some kind of um, 
Persian Gulf uh, strike between the states, <laughs> U.S. Yeah. Navy and Iran or something, and that created yeah. jitter for the markets, and they sold off nastily for like two, three days. Well, that that's, seems very strange because I don't see in the news very much where they have very much hostilities over there between the Middle East and Iran and Israel and stuff. They, they've been living together for 3,000 years in harmony. They're some of the greatest warriors that have ever come out of there. I one big happy family. <laughs> I mean, there, there's been a lot of, uh, um, uh, a lot of, a lot of military strife with Lebanon and Gaza. And, well, uh, that, that, that doesn't bother me, pal. I, it's my, it's over my pay grade. It doesn't bother me nothing, eh? over my like big Thanks for calling in, Mike. We love you. Bye-bye. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets, with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe, with a little luck, we have Norm Winsky in the house. Norm, how are you doing today? Great, Larry. Thanks for having me on your show. Well, thanks for being with us. Now, we've got your chart up, so tell us what you're looking at today. 
Okay, hopefully we have the notes on the screen. We can and see it perfectly. What's that? We can see them perfectly. Great. And okay, so I'm going to read quickly a review. I was last on your show on August 16th, I believe. That was a Friday. And coming up uh, a few days later, early next week, the following week, uh, we had a, a three th interesting things. So the afternoon of, uh, let's see, the 19th, that was a Monday, uh, afternoon of August 19th, we had a full moon in the sign of Aquarius. By the time we have a full moon, new moon, we want to be looking at financials, grains, precious metals, and oil. And because it was in Aquarius, we're running a special on copper, too. And then the night, uh, the p.m. is afternoon, obviously. A.C. is after the close. So the night of the 19th, we had Jupiter making a, a, a geocentric Jupiter from the point of view of the Earth. Uh, Jupiter, 90 degrees to Saturn. And we want to look at coffee and oil then. And then the night of the 23rd, we had Jupiter to the U.S. natal chart. That's based on when the country was founded on July the 4th, 1776. And where the planets were at that time. And anytime we have something like that, it's stocks, T, U.S. stocks, T bond, and the U.S. dollar. So here are the charts. Here's the, the moon there for corn. And you can see it rallied into the moon and then made a nice top. Here's beans. Beans rallied into the moon, but this went sideways. We're going to have to count that as a miss. That's a red arrow. Green arrow back here on corn, that's a winner. Red arrow, bad, that's a, that's a miss. All right, so then we're moving ahead on wheat. We uh, dropped into the moon, and then uh, if you bought there the afternoon of the 19th, you would have been a happy camper because then it went up and you had a chance to make some money. Here's coffee right on a high there on our Jupiter Saturn square uh, and uh, the top of there, and you had a nice pullback. And it probably doesn't look like a lot, but every penny there, as you know, Larry, $375. So say it moves uh, eight cents, it's roughly uh, about $2,500 or so. And it does that uh, without any too much of a problem. Here's oil dropping here into our two oil points. We had the two points there the afternoon of the 19th and the night of the 19th into the opening of the 20th. And neither one of those works. So we get two misses there. Here's copper. You just mentioned copper on your show a, minute, a few minutes ago. And you can see you're making a little short-term top there on copper. Here's another cotton market that's a beast. Every penny is $250. I think it moved about $0.04 cents there. So that's like $1,000. Here's silver. Silver, almost, we were like a day early, and then it just went sideways for like four days. So I'm counting that as a miss. Gold was a little better better behaving there and that made the top the next day and then dropped sooner. And so we like that. That's a win possible winner. Here's the S and P. We had, uh, uh, as you know, Larry, we had a <laughs> huge 500 point rally, 500 handle rally here in August. And so all these bars got squished. So what used to be a nice swing of 50 handles looks like a nothing here on the chart, but it's still there. If you look closely at the scale, you'll see that's like a 50 handle a drop there, and then also there's a nice, nicer, even nicer top right there. So we had three winners there on the S&P. Here's the T-Bonds. Uh, we missed on the moon. They didn't they kept going up on the moon, after the moon. But that yellow box is a, a pass for sideways. Don't do sideways. And then we rallied up into that nice point there and made a nice short-term top there on the bonds. And the dollar didn't cooperate for the moon. But then our U.S. point, it did make a nice low there and popped up a bit. So we have 10 winners out of 16, six misses for 62, almost Fibonacci there, Larry, 62.50%. Here's what's coming up. Do we have time? We got a commercial coming? Okay. No, we've I'll got two ahead. minutes, so keep going. Oh, boy, that ought to do it. So uh, last night, we had Mercury turning direct. As you know, Larry, Mercury turns retrograde about three times a year. <laughs> Mercury turned retrograde over the August 2nd weekend. I was the here on that Friday, the August 2nd, and we were melting down that Friday. I said, look for a low on Monday the 5th, 
And we got that right on the open. I think it gapped down over 200 handles. And we made our low right on the opening there. And it's been generally up, up, and away ever, ever since with a few small pullbacks. So very, anyway, here's the opposite point. Pullbacks. What's that again, Larry? Very small pullbacks. Yeah. Yes, so anyway, the uh, uh, so this is the opposite point. Mercury turns retrograde about three times a year, and that lasts for about three weeks. What is retrograde? Has to do with the relative motion of the Earth to the various planets. In this case, Mercury, and that you, for Mercury, that usually lasts about three weeks. So we're coming to the end of that cycle, that phase, uh, last night. And so anytime we have Mercury, we we're looking at the grains. You were talking about the grains just a few minutes ago, and corn, gold. And oh, also because it's uh, has to do with the sun. Oh, it's in Leo. That's right, because it's in Leo. We also want to look at gold and then soybeans and wheat. Now, coming up this weekend, Labor Day weekend, you got a three-day weekend. Uh, we got some big, big guys, big convergence here. Uh, Uranus turning retrograde. There's a planet, outer planet. That's, I think, even bigger, turning retrograde. Anytime that, when the planets change trend, the markets change trend. So this is one indicator for a big change of trend over the weekend. And in particular, now let me mention stocks potentially respond to all these events. So I don't, a lot of times don't even bother mentioning the stock market, just assume stock market. In addition, we're looking at cattle, copper, and cotton. Then we have also over the coming weekend, Pluto has been retrograde, going backwards, going retrograde, and it's going to leave the side Aquarius and go back into Capricorn. And so we'll be look, we'll look at cocoa, coffee, copper, hogs, and tea bonds. And then if that all weren't enough, we're going to have a new moon over the weekend in the sign of Virgo. So financials, grains, precious metal, oil, and running. A, uh, you just mentioned soybeans, Larry, uh, running, because it's in Virgo. Running a special on soybeans this weekend. So we'll look for that. these things that happen. Uh, Tuesday morning for the big turns here, probably Tuesday morning, no later than Tuesday uh, uh, on uh, the uh, after Labor Day uh, holiday there, uh, be September 3rd. Uh, if you'd like to see, oh, we got some big, I'm going to give you a sneak peek, Larry, your people are going to sneak peek. I've been working on September. We got some huge stuff coming up here in September. Uh, Norm, for example, Norm. Norm, yes, sir. We have to pay. We have to pay a few bills, but we're going to have time for when you come back. You got another segment okay. about seven minutes or so. So stay with us, folks. Norm Winskip will be right back with some special. Thank you. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, 
giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Norm Winsky, and he has a special surprise for us about what's coming up. Fire away, Norm. We got some huge stuff coming up in September. For example, just one example, the night is September 17th. There will be a full moon at Perigee, but wait, it's not just a full moon, it's a lunar eclipse. We have a lunar eclipse at Perigee. This is a rare event, and that's going to be the night of the 17th. And guess what, Larry? The next day is the big Fed announcement. I think we might get some volatility around that time. What do you think, Larry? Uh, usually there might be a bit. <laughs> it's a lunar yeah. eclipse, right? Lunar eclipse at Perigee. Okay. That doesn't. That's three lunar cycles all lining up together. Doesn't happen very often. That means a lot to me, be Mr. Winsky. I can tell you that right now. Thank you very much. That's a good one. Keep yeah. going. So I got a lot of some other big stuff coming too. If you'd like to know more, contact me. I've been doing this a long time, almost as long as Larry, about 45, 50 years. I started trading in college back in the early 70s. Made enough money to buy a membership on the then fledgling Chicago Board Options Exchange in 1975 and also traded on the Chicago Board of Trade. And I've been studying all this stuff all this time. I got GAN, Elliott Wave, astrophysics, astrology, music, cycles, Fibonacci, so forth. So looking forward to helping some of the folks there, Larry. Any questions from the Tigers, Dan? Not yet, but I, want, I do have a question. But how about being our guest on the 17th? You want to put the book in there so we... Well, somewhere you know, around there. I'll have to look at how, you know... Oh, how the, how okay, well, it fits, if it fits I, in with your schedule, you, I understand. You don't want me to miss out? I, let's say I had some other big stuff right before that. You might want me to come on a little sooner, you see. So I'll have to look at... Okay. See, I haven't finished the September letter yet. So I don't know everything. Okay. don't know what the whole lineup is, you know. All right. Well, listen, okay, thanks I'll, for joining well, us today. We really appreciate but, that. But we'll shoot for somewhere around the 17th, somewhere ahead of the 17th. Give everybody a heads up, you know. Sounds pretty good to me. All right, everybody. Have think? a great uh, Labor Day weekend. Looking forward to hearing from you soon and, uh, and helping you. And uh, thanks a lot, Larry, for having me on. Thank you, Norm. Norm Winsky. Oh, oh I, forgot to, I forgot to put up my contact information, Larry. I think it's a that. good idea. Much easier give me to one find more, you. Give me one, if you don't <laughs> mind, give me one, put, put, one more put minute. Put it right up there. Take your time. There we go. My there. telephone is 239-594-3939, 239-594-3939 in beautiful Naples, Florida. Uh, or you can email me, email me at nwinski at yahoo.com. That's nwinski at yahoo.com. Or you could call me on Skype at the same, using the same email address. Looking forward to helping the folks there, Larry. Everybody have a great Labor Day weekend. Thank you very much, Norm. 
Okay, folks, stay with me just a second here, and I will get the charts back up, and we'll be able to look at some other markets. We want to take a look at a few of these currencies because they have a lot of things happening to them. Uh, let's get this up here. What we want to do now is to put this into cascade mode so we don't watch it, and then we're going to just come up here. We've already looked at the Japanese yen and the British pound, so we're going to just look at the euro now. We'll get this is right up here. The old, there's the pound. There's the euro. And the euro is selling off just a little bit as we expected. There, you can see where we are right now in the euro. We had the big move up here. We thought it might get up to here at 112, but we got to uh, 111. Oh, we did hit 112, but this says 112.50. That would have been quite a bit and hasn't done that. Now we've backed off a little bit here uh, in the end, just a few days now. This is this one, two, three, four, five. So we want to measure our last 382s to see where we are with these runs here okay now first thing we'll go to the bottom uh, okay we'll go to the bottom right here and you'll see uh, there's where you are you went up and you came almost exactly to the 38 you went a little bit below it that gave you your ABCD up to this level right here because when you measure those like that that is the way of looking at your ABC you don't have to account much Elliott wave stuff you can see that's where we are so since that time we backed off five days but it hasn't come down very much. It's come down a little, uh, well over 150 handles, which is 150 points, which is quite a bit. But if we look at on on the shorter time frame, you'll see where we stopped here. It looks like today we stopped, ooh, not quite exactly at the 382. We might still that. There's still well, it trades 24 hours, seven days, six, uh, five and a half days a week. So there should be some strong support here at this level right here, because that's a 382 off of that August 5th low, which everybody knows was a monster cycle bottom and that's uh you know what we've been going on you know since that really happened we've already looked at the japanese yen so the only other one to look at that we have anything to do with it all would be the australian dollar and that's right up here at the top of the page usually there it is right here and we'll see if what's going to happen here and it's still going up folks it's made another new high today as you can see we had this uh, this was a fictitious thing that the bank did i don't know what it was about but for it to drop that much uh, in one day is, uh, and it's it's correct data because I I've checked it. We took out the April low uh, by a heartbeat, and boy, it hasn't backed off at all. Looking at this on a really short-term basis, which is this daily, the only thing that we have is even close to a 382 comes in here on the uh, the 19th. There's your low, and your high comes in right here. It doesn't even come close to a 382. Or anything, none of them have. There, well, there's a little pullback here that looks like it was a 382 off of the last couple of days. There's your low, your high comes in right there. Nope, doesn't even make a 382. And we've got up to the 1.618 expansion here. We've taken that high out. So if there's anything going to stop this, it's going to be this bar right here, 161. Today's high at uh, on that uh, is uh, 68 even uh, 60. Excuse me, 68.24. We're trading at 68.05, so I wouldn't I wouldn't put a nickel on that because we've taken out the highs of uh, well you got to pay attention we've taken out the highs of uh, July, believe it or not, and we're going to find out whether it's got something going for it right here. Boy, it's I'll tell you one thing. Let me just look at this on a small. I'm going to talk myself into a trade here. I better be careful. Okay, there was our level right up here. So we came up and then we rallied back a little bit. So. This may be the major high here in the Australian dollar for some time, folks. So let's uh, let's not forget that. You can see that ABCD we were talking about just a minute ago. There it is. Ah, uh, shucks. It didn't do it the right way. Let's get it up here so we can see it here. There's your AB equals CD right there. There you go. <laughs> How's that? Oh, it's off by a little bit here. Well, I think it's a darn sensitive. I can't ask them to fix it because they do so much for me as it is. I, that's, I'm talking about the people at Ensign. There it is right there. comes within about three pips of the exact high, and that's what we're looking at uh, right here on the Australian dollar. So we're going to find out how these things work in just a minute. That's for sure. Let's see how much time we got here. we got 47 sec, 46 seconds left. we got a chance to look at one more currency, and that is the old Canadian dollar. And that should be right here on the second set. Oh, come on, can you, there it is, right there. Uh -oh. We'll put, be right back with the Canadian dollar, folks. Oh boy, is it taking a bath. We'll be right back.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is the dollar index uh, on a weekly basis. As you can see here, we've come down quite a bit. Our target on this is at 99. We're at 101 right now. We've been coming down very sharply since May, and uh, as you can see here, we're due for a rally. It is extremely overbought, excuse me, oversold, just like we were overbought in the euro. So don't give up on the U.S. dollar quite yet. We did take out this low by one tick, believe it or not, this past week. It might even have been today. Let's just double check here just to see if it was today. By golly, uh, nope, it was just a couple days ago right here. We had a little bit of a bounce, but really not very much. So the bounce so far basically looks like it's just made a 382 of the low that we made. Yeah, perfectly right on there. So we start getting above this. There's a gap here in the dollar. That's, of course, over the weekend. But uh, start getting above this, you'll start to see some short covering uh, coming in. Well, we got some good information from Norm today. We want to remember on September the 16th, let's try that, September 17th, we're going to be looking at a lunar eclipse of perigee. And uh, boy, that's going to be a monster. So we got to pay, uh, that'll also be a, um, uh, a new moon too, folks. So let's pay uh, really close attention to that one. But that's going to be coming down the road a little bit, okay? So that's what we're watching here today, folks. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And please help some of your neighbors because they certainly do need uh, a lot of help out there, okay? 
And I think that should cover it for today. I better check my clock on the wall here. 52 seconds. Boy, that's a lifetime. It gives me a chance to talk about Apple. I haven't missed it. But Apple is doing good. All their phone orders are going uh, bonkers to the upside. And you can see it gapped up today uh, on its way to $390, I think. is Well, I'm just making that up. But it certainly looks bullish here, folks. And uh, it's gapped up quite a bit. And it's one of the reasons why the Dow's up that much. And we'll see what happens. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. May God bless.